Hi, welcome to another Siler Instrument Tech Tip. We're going to talk about integrating photos into your Trimble Access field workflow using many different data collectors. The Trimble TSC3 on the keyboard itself, right above the number one key, there's a little picture of a camera. So if you hit the function key, which is the yellow key on your keyboard, and then the camera, that's going to bring up the camera. The camera is located on the back of the TSC3 right in the middle, and to the left and right you actually have a flash that you can turn on and off. When you bring up the camera, you can see a live preview of what you're seeing through the camera lens. If you hit the menu key, you can see there's many different settings that can be set. We're not going to go through all of these in the video, but we are going to talk about a few important ones. One of them being the resolution. By default, the factory resolution is set to a pretty small image, so people say the quality of the image that they're getting out of the threes isn't that great. It's because the re uh, resolution is set pretty low. So if you do menu resolution and pick a higher resolution photo, you'll get a, a better quality picture. And the downfall with that is the file size is going to get bigger as that resolution gets larger. Another setting that's real important is the geotagging. On the currently the top left hand side, it's going to print a latitude and longitude based on the internal GPS in your TSC3. It's going to be pretty small and red. You're able to change the size, the location, and the color of this latitude and longitude geotag. And you'll notice in the top left hand corner, whether it's on, actually on the photograph itself, or embedded in the JPEG, or both, is a setting in your camera. The third thing that's uh, really handy on this camera is a focus. If you press the center square halfway down, you're going to hear a noise. That's the focus. A green square will appear on the screen, especially if you're going close up on a control point and trying to read the monument uh, writing. That's where you're going to want to use this manual focus. To actually press the button, that takes the picture. What happens is you end up seeing a preview of the picture on the screen. If you're happy with the picture, you hit OK. If you're not happy, you hit the camera button and it goes back to the live camera and you can take the picture again. So again, you just hit the OK twice when you're happy with it. What that'll do is it'll store the picture and return you to Trimble Access. In Trimble Access, if you're in a job and you've already started taking some measurements, whether it's a total station or a GPS job, it's going to come up and ask you what do you want to do with the picture. You can attach it to the previous point, the next point, a particular point name. That could be a point that you shot you know, earlier in the day. Or you can just attach the picture to a job. Another real handy thing is the geotag embedded into Trimble Access. If you're in a project that has a defined coordinate system, whether it's a total station or a GPS job, that latitude and longitude, the geotag that it's putting on the photos, is the true position from your survey file rather than just the one from the internal GPS in the TSC3. When you go into review job, now you can see these media files are specifically attached to points. Point 101 has three pictures, point 102 has two pictures. Well now if you tap on that picture, it's going to bring up a preview and there's this real handy tool where you can draw right on the picture. So you're trying to draw attention to the gap in this pipe. Well you can draw an arrow, you can write a note, if you hit the options key here at the bottom of the draw page, you can see you can change the color of the text, the arrow, the size, and then there's a box there to save original file. So you can actually save one without all of your scribblings on it, as well as the one where you've done the markups. Another way to add photographs to a job file is to use your feature and attribute library. If you go into the library, there's a field for photos. So here I set two photos up for a pipe. So I take a picture of the in, the water inside of the pipe, and the outflow of the pipe. Down here at the bottom of the page is where you trigger the camera. So instead of using that function F1 to bring up the camera, you drop the cursor in one of these fields, hit the camera, take the picture. On the Trimble tablet, it's actually pretty easy to assign these app buttons to bring up your camera. In Trimble Access, you're going to hit Favorites and then Customize. What it's going to ask you to do is assign a command to any of the three buttons, one, two, or three, and you'll just assign it to be the camera. Just like on the TSC3, the camera on the uh, tablet is on the back side. There is one on the front, but on the back side, you've got the camera and you have a flash. When you hit the camera on a Trimble tablet, one of the original Trimble tablets, again, you see a preview with some other information right on the screen. If you hit this little arrow at the bottom of the page, that's what brings up all your settings. So what you have here is white balance, exposure, but once again you have image quality. 
By default, it's only showing you a normal quality picture. If you're looking for a higher quality, higher resolution, go ahead and change that to super fine. If you hit the little gear, again, you have more uh, settings available for the camera. Once you take the picture, just like on the TSE 3 you hit OK, the picture shows up back in your media file, and you can attach it to, again, the previous point, next point, just like you could on the TSE 3 When it comes to the G07X, the trigger is the actual button with the crosshairs on it. So at any place when you're in your Trimble Access job, you hit the trigger key, that'll bring up the camera. You hit the trigger again to actually take the photo, and then you hit the on-screen OK twice to bring you back into Access. On the G07X, the camera is located right at the top of the unit. I don't have access to a T10 tablet when I'm making this video, but I will add it when the time comes. If you go into Jobs, Properties of Job, down on page 2, you can see the media file. You set the default what pops up. So as you're taking pictures, if you're constantly changing it to the next point, go ahead and change it here and it'll stay set that way. When you're done for the day, if you don't use Trimble Business Center, you can export your media file using a style sheet built into the data collector. You go to Jobs, Import Export, Export a Custom Format, and in your list look for a file called Media File. If you don't have it, it can be found at the link shown below. Here's what a media file report looks like. Basically, it tells you which point goes with which image. Also, if you don't use Trimble Business Center and you don't download directly from your data collector, if you're using a thumb drive, under the Jobs File screen, you have this new command, Copy Job File To. When you select that command, what it's really good is you can say include media files, include export files, include any map files. So it'll make a folder, the name of your project, with all the data associated to your job in one folder. So you don't have to remember which folders go with what. We're going to do another video where you uh, use these photos in Trimble Business Center and generate reports like this. Very handy for control points, pipes, a real detailed custom Word document using the new reporting tools in Trimble Business Center. Thanks for watching and have a great day.